Hello ladies and gents, me again. Uh, I just thought I'd do something just for a little bit of a, a laugh really. I was looking at the Fiat 500, I was looking at the Mini, I was thinking, hmm, I wonder what they'd look like with the wheels swapped. <laughs> so here we go. The Fiat 500 with the Mini Cooper wheels and the Mini Cooper with the Fiat 500 wheels. I just wondered uh, what people think. Obviously the Mini Cooper wheels are massively wider so they 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 just look huge on the uh, the Fiat 500 I love how they stick out at the back from the uh, from the archers but they do actually fit I had to pull them out slightly because the uh, otherwise they rub on the chassis so you can't push them all the way in otherwise they don't turn so you have to pull them out a little bit to give them clearance but I think it looks really cool I think it looks really good and the Mini actually looks okay I think with the Fiat 500 wheels I won't be leaving it this way by the way I will be swapping it back but if uh, if you wanted to make your Mini look more like a, a standard Mini obviously you have to do a, a little bit of modification but you take off the wheel arch extensions and push the wheels all the way in you could get rid of that grey piece and modify the arch into a normal kind of an arch um, it's quite easy to modify it you could you could even use these pieces if you can get them in uh, in a different color maybe i don't think you can get them in the green but you might be able to use black ones or something i don't know there's probably a way you can modify it anyway and make it look like a lesser spec mini but so uh, yeah we're just a little playing around and i just thought yeah let's try it see what it looks like and then just to fill the archers, pulled the wheels out as far as they will go on the axle. <clears throat> Can't do it while I'm filming, but I pulled them out so that they still they still fill the archers. And to be honest, in some respects, they, they look better than the big fat wide tyres because the Mini never had big fat wide tyres. So these little skinny ones are actually more in keeping to be honest, with the original the original Mini. The original Mini only had little skinny wheels like this. Now, obviously, if you flick off the centre cap as well, you could have them like that. And they look really sporty. So let's flick the caps off. I think it looks good as well having white wheels because the standard Mini Cooper wheels are obviously grey with those centre pieces to make them look like the original Mini light alloys. But look how cool that looks. Just look how cool that looks with them wheels in white. So it's just like a a little modification to possibly consider to make the Mini look more realistic. Make it look more like a, a real Mini. Because as I said, the real Mini only ever, only ever came with little skinny tyres like that. It never had big fat chunky tyres. And that actually, I think, looks better than uh, than it does with the standard wheels. So, just something that might be worth considering. Them caps, I think, um, come off quite easily as well. I can't do it while I'm holding my camera, but you could probably put them caps in the middle of the white wheels. And uh, that would probably look pretty cool as well. So, yeah, there you go. Little wheel swap, mini and Fiat 500, so the Fiat 500 now looks a bit like a, a little monster with its big fat chunky tyres and the Mini looks more like a Mini should with its narrower little wheels so let me know in the comments what you think and uh, yeah, there we go <laughs> it's always fun to do things, that's one of the beauty th beauties of Lego isn't it you can play around and do what you want with Lego, that's the whole beauty of it So. Alright guys, so for now I shall uh, see you again and uh, again let me know if you want me to do more Lego videos, I'm quite happy to do them because they're quite fun. Alright, until next time, catch you later, bye!